Good morning, students. We're wrapping up our study on magnetic fields. We're in lesson 3.3, modeling the spacecraft launches. We're going to start with the warm up. And to connect the warm up with, uh, you know, our study, again, they ran this launcher on a Monday, on a Tuesday, and on a Wednesday. And each day they moved the launcher and the magnet. Um, the, the launcher, the magnet, and the launcher, and the magnet, and the spacecraft one centimeter closer each day, right? Um, and from Monday to Tuesday, it increased by 10 meters per second. But Tuesday to Wednesday, it jumped up 30. And so the question is, why? Right? And so we've been looking at all these different claims. And today we're going to focus in on claim three, which suggests that the magnetic force was much stronger on Wednesday, and that's why we, we saw this increase of velocity. And we're gonna have what we call these two subclaims that we'll take a look at. 3A, which is that the magnetic force was stronger because the magnet itself was stronger, okay, like they swapped out the magnets. Or 3B, that the magnetic force was stronger because the magnetic force is stronger closer to the magnets, that it's not a proportional type relationship. So we'll take a look. But I want to start off answering just in your opinion, using complete sentences, like always, which claim do you think is more convincing? 3A or 3B and why? So take a few minutes, give that to me in complete sentences and hand in. All right, in activity two, we're actually going to analyze spacecraft launches and, um, you know, I want to get you thinking about what happened. So here's a picture uh, kind of of what happened. On Monday, we had um, the, the launcher and the magnet were four centimeters apart. They launched at a velocity of 80 meters per second. Then on Tuesday, we moved um, the Universal Space Agency, USA, moved the magnet and the, the, the launcher and the spacecraft one centimeter closer. So they were three centimeters apart and we got a launch velocity of 90 meters per second. So our target is hundred meters per second. So on Wednesday, we moved them one centimeter again, except now we jumped up to 120 meters per second, right? And the question is why? This is uh, not what we expected and it is a problem. So why did the spacecraft go so much faster on Wednesday? And again, claim 3A is because the magnets were stronger. Somebody swapped out the magnets and put stronger magnets in. And 3B is because the magnetic force is always stronger the closer you get to the magnets themselves, all right? That's what we'll take a look at. So in this, uh, I don't know, this role playing that we're doing, the USA scientists have sent new data to us in order to analyze. And instead of working in pairs, which we would do if we were, um, you know, in class together, um, we're going to do this kind of with me leading and going to have you answer the questions here. All right. So again, the research question that we're trying to identify is um, why was the velocity so much greater on Wednesday? And we're going to take a look at these claims. We're going to kind of lay them out and see what they match up with. So we have claim two, but really claim three, A and B, we're going to try to match these evidence cards with what they think uh, we think they go with. Um, and then you have a couple of discussion questions um, to kind of help you with that. So I'm going to walk you through the video here and you're probably going to have to like stop the video and go to Amplify and kind of go back and forth. So feel free to stop the video at any point. Um, I am going to include the evidence cards in uh, Google Classroom that you can take a look at uh, if you need them. But I'm going to go through them here with you. So you will not be alone. So let's take a look at evidence card A. And it was the first thing that, that I showed you after the warm up. And this is just what happened with the launch. Monday, we were four centimeters apart. And that gave us a velocity of 80 meters per second. Tuesday, uh, we got ourselves a little bit closer by a centimeter. And we got uh, a velocity, an uptick of 10 meters per second. So we were going 90 meters per second. And then on Wednesday, 
we moved it another centimeter closer, but now we jumped up to uh, 120 meters per second, right? We had an increase of 10 and then an increase of 30. That's what evidence card A tells us. Evidence card B shows the average speed of the spacecraft when it's launched. So um, on Monday, the average speed was 80 meters per second. That was the first time we did it. So there was no increase over our previous launch. On Tuesday, we had a launch speed of 90 meters per second. That was an increase of 10 meters per second. And on Wednesday, we had an average speed of 120 meters per second. That was an increase of 30, right? And this is just what that looks like on a chart. So nothing too surprising there. Uh, it's just a different way of looking at the same data. Evidence card C points out the energy used to push that spacecraft to its final position for each launch. So total energy to move to launch position. So it took 320 kilojoules of energy on Monday. And then notice we moved them closer together. It took 405 kilojoules and then Notice the jump when we put them two centimeters apart, it took 700, uh, 702 kilojoules. Now, what does this mean? Just think about the magnets as we're pushing the magnets together. You know, if I push two magnets together, two strong magnets together, if I push their north poles closer together, it takes more energy for me to push them together. That's what we're talking about here. So to go from 405 to 702 shows that I need more force, I need more energy to push those together because more force is pushing back against me, right? So that kind of makes sense. Wish I didn't get emails when I was uh, making these videos. Okay, evidence card D, simulating the launches. So in the simulation, the force got stronger in each launch because we kept moving it closer together, right? So on Monday, that strength uh, sensor told us we had 1.7 milliteslas. Tesla is not just a car, right? That was a dude. Um, and so we named uh, the amount we, energy is one way of expressing energy are in Tesla's. Okay. So, um, don't get too hung up on that. Just look at the raw numbers here. So on Monday we had, uh, the magnets were farther apart and we had 1.7 on Tuesday. We moved them one centimeter closer and it was 1.9. And then on Wednesday we moved them one centimeter closer together. And look, we jump up to 27.9. That's huge, right? Notice this is, uh, let's say this is two and let's say this is 28. That's 14 times the amount of uh, strength just in that last centimeter, right? Evidence card D tells us a lot about what's going on. And then evidence card E, that's the energy used to push the spacecraft to initial, uh, initial launch position. And here it took the same amount of energy to put the spacecraft in its original space in the launcher, okay? And this is to an initial position of four centimeters away. So I'm just gonna have you guys think about this here for a second. If this, uh, if this was a stronger magnet, like if someone swapped the magnets out, wouldn't this number be different on Wednesday? I think so. So if you look in uh, activity two, the first question says, um, which of these evidence cards supports claim number two, that much more energy was in the launcher system on Wednesday than on Tuesday, right, compared? Well, uh, if I go back to these cards real quick, Uh, evidence card A shows that there is more energy, right? Because there's greater velocity here. Evidence card B also shows me that there is uh, more energy because there's a greater velocity here. Evidence card C definitely shows me that there was uh, more energy because I had to work harder to keep the, mag the, the launcher and the, the spacecraft in position, okay? Evidence card D 
um, shows me that the force was stronger, but not necessarily that there was more energy in the system. So I'm going to say no on evidence card D because this just tells me um, how for, how strong the magnetic force was, but not necessarily the amount of energy in the system. Okay, but uh, evidence card E, no, doesn't show me that there was more energy in there. All right. Um, question number two says which of the cards support claim three A that the magnetic force was stronger because the magnets were stronger. Well, none of these cards suggest that. In fact, this card seems to suggest that the magnets weren't stronger at all, that there was something else going on, okay? Um, question number three says, which one supports the, the idea that the magnetic force was stronger um, because force is stronger closer to magnets well if i go back to d this is where card d plays in right this shows me not how much energy but how strong the force is and that definitely supports that claim i'm going to let you answer question number four on your own after i've given you those answers okay so i answered question one two and three i want you to answer question number four we are skipping section number three, which is modeling. Um, yeah, it just, I don't think there's a good way to do this through a distance learning. So um, for the homework, you're gonna write an explanation to Dr. Shapiro, but I'm gonna be reading it about the sequence of events that caused the model spacecraft to go much faster than expected, all right? So um, I'm going to walk you through some kind of vocabulary that you can use. And um, these are obviously transition words that will help you. But we've talked about these words, right? Uh, convert means it transitions from one form to another. So from potential energy converting to kinetic, it transforms. Force is just a push or a pull. Kinetic energy is energy in motion, basically, which as potential energy is it's not active, right? It's, it's at rest, but it is uh, ready to act. Magnetic field, this is the, uh, the lines, the magnetic lines that are created by, um, by magnets, the presence of magnets, magnetic poles. They have polarity, a north and a south pole. Um, a system, if you remember that from an energy, right? We, uh, we created energy systems that converted energy in one form or another. So a system is just a, a mechanical set of tools that convert energy back and forth. And uh, transfer is a lot like convert, uh, where you move things back and forth. So you'll use these uh, vocabulary words um, in your explanation. And uh, you don't have to use all of them. You do need to use complete sentences. But the question that I, I'm really looking at is, do you understand what happened with Wednesday's launch? Why was Wednesday's launch so much different than Tuesday's? Okay. And these transition words and phrases can be helpful in describing the sequence of events. So, you know, explaining that something happened as a result of, or when this happened, or that, you know, which means this. These are all phrases that are gonna help you make that explanation. So here's an example, right? Um, if uh, I put a pom-pom and a rubber band and shot it across the room and said, okay, why did the pom-pom fly so fast? You might write this answer. The pom-pom flew so fast when I released the rubber band because the rubber band was a stronger rubber band. The fact that the pom-pom moved so fast meant it had a high amount of kinetic energy. Since more energy is transferred into a system and stored as potential energy, when you move an object against a stronger force, I stored more potential energy when I stretched the stronger rubber band. After I released the rubber band, the force converted the greater amount of potential energy into kinetic energy, making the pom-pom fly faster. And this is gonna, this is like really helpful 
uh, you can use a lot of this language in your answer. So for the homework here, you are going to write a final explanation to the Universal Space Agency as to what happened on Wednesday. Why did we have such greater results Wednesday than we did Tuesday? I want you to use complete sentences. Uh, this should take you f at least five or six sentences to answer. And then you will hit uh, turn in and, um, and we'll be done.